Hey guys, I'm Rebek here from Tesla Geeks. We recently passed our 6,000 subscription mark, so thank you all so very much for your support. Um, today I'm actually filming for my Model X, doing a little experiment for you guys. I've had a lot of my friends ask between, especially in the Model X, whether to buy a 75D or a 100D. Um, 75D will do if all you're doing is short commutes, you know, like if, you got, if you're commuting to work and back, 20, 30, 50 miles. Um, I, have, I actually live in the Woodlands, which is about 30, 40 miles outside of Houston. So my 75D is enough for me to go to Houston and back at least two, three times without any issues. And then I end up charging at night. Um, the main issue that I've ever had with range anxiety has to do with when I'm uh, doing long distance traveling. I think you guys saw earlier in our earlier videos, I've got a 75D uh, Model X. Um, it does have 22 inch uh, sports tires and rims on them, so that makes that makes it a little bit less efficient. I went for the aesthetic more than trying to be logical uh, and efficient. But uh, one of the issues, I go to Austin quite often. Uh, so today I'm actually, it's a beautiful Friday afternoon uh, around 1.30, uh, what is it, March 30th, 2018. Um, and I'm actually driving from the Woodlands straight, taking 290 to a supercharger in Austin. So I just looked it up on my directions. It says from where I'm sitting right now, it's 147 miles. So take it about 150 miles. Uh, the navigation is saying it's gonna take me three hours and 15 minutes to get there. And I should get there a little bit right around 5 p.m. I charged the car all the way up uh, to 100. Again, uh, Model X 75D and the range estimator was saying 228, 227 miles of range. It's 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Sometimes climate can have an issue. Back in December, I tried to travel to Austin. So I had, it was a double whammy. It was like super cold in the 30s and 40s. Uh, so the cold weather kind of had issues on range uh, inefficiencies. And on top of that, I had the 22s. Um, so back in December when I made this exact same trip, I got to that Austin supercharger with literally zero miles of range uh, So range anxiety like you wouldn't believe I think today because the weather's uh, Okay, I should get there with no problems. I'm estimating um, Probably getting there about 10 miles of range So if you guys want to go ahead and guess what you think I'm gonna get there with go ahead and try to uh, uh, comment below and uh, here we go. Let's start the show So as we take off, like I said, we've got 227 and it read 228 earlier miles of range um, and 64 degrees Fahrenheit and We will see how much range I have when I get to my destination and again Where we're going is the Austin supercharger and like I was saying I'm leaving the Woodlands area Traveling straight on 290, so not taking or risking it a little bit because there are no superchargers yet on the way. Um, and the navigation is saying I've got 147 physical miles to get to that area, about three hours, and I should get there around 451. So let's see how it goes. So I'm on 290, I've been on the road for about 30 minutes. Uh, so far, the car is saying I've got 176 miles of range left. Um, used 14.8 kilowatt hours. And you can see I'm on autopilot. And I'll just show you guys kind of the track that we're making right now. Um, the, the navigation is estimating I'm going to have 14% range uh, left when I get to the supercharger in Austin, but I highly doubt it. Um, again, we're about 30, 40 minutes in, 114 miles remaining. Still showing I'm gonna get there around 4.35, about two hours left to go. So we're just about at the halfway mark. I've been on the road for about an hour and 30 minutes. It's showing we have 64 miles remaining and another hour and 30 minutes to drive. We're getting close to Giddings. Um, again, my uh, the range in the car is showing 110 miles estimated and so getting a little bit hotter at 74 degrees and you can see here that uh, we traveled about 88 miles um, 
33.8 kilowatt hours used. And I wanted to show you guys my consumption, my trip consumption meter here. You can see I'm averaging about 363 miles or a kilowatt hours per mile. Um, basically, I'm trying to maintain about a 70 miles per hour, 75 miles per hour uh, speed and utilizing um, autopilot. Again, beautiful day, driving on 290, heading to Austin, Texas. So for after being on the road for about three hours, I finally made it to the supercharger in Austin, Texas. So drum roll, the range, the estimated range that's left in the car is 32 miles. So I left, like I said, with 100% charge. The car was reading roughly 228 miles. So if you estimate it being like 230 or so miles, and there's 30 miles left, that means I traveled almost 200 miles. The actual range, as you can see here, real real, uh, real mileage range was uh, about 152, 153 miles. So it took me an extra 50 or so miles um, because of, you know, a AC, um, because of the wheels, you know, being, being larger and some of the inefficiencies of that. Um, and you can see I used about 56.4 kilowatt hours of the battery. Um, I actually just noticed that I passed 13,000 uh, on my odometer as well. So put a lot of miles on this car. Um, so yeah, pretty interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, again, the difference between a 75D real life application like I did today and a 100D, I think 75D is probably okay for most people that aren't planning on doing long dis a lot of long distance traveling. Um, this is probably the extent of like, like I said, 150 miles, one shot without a supercharger straight from Houston to Austin. Um, but if you are planning on traveling quite a bit in long distances and you don't want to have range anxiety, definitely go with the 100 D. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We really appreciate it. Again, we passed 6,000 6, subscribers. That's all thanks to you guys. Please feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, if you guys enjoy the content, please share it with your friends. Um, we also have some really amazing news from the Tesla geeks regarding the Tesla referral program. Thank you guys so much for using our referrals whenever you're purchasing your S and X. Um, we're actually getting super, super close to, uh, we're nine referrals away as of today to get a free ne uh, next generation founder series roaster. So if we end up getting that, definitely you, you guys all can have rides. We're going to make videos. Uh, the reaction videos, I think, on the Next Gen Roadster are going to be insane. Uh, actually, terrifying is probably the better word in a good way. Um, you guys saw in the last videos, I actually got a chance to ride in the Next Gen Roadster when we were in LA for the semi unveil, and it was unbelievable. I mean, I've been in ludicrous cars and all of that. This is, this is something very different. Three electric motors, 200 kilowatt hour battery. I cannot wait till 2020 when we get our hands on the next gen roadster. So please feel free to uh, continue to use our referral code. We're going to post it on the link just down below. Um, and yeah, if you have anybody in your uh, friends and family that are looking to buy an S or an X, make sure you guys use the referral code below. You guys will get free uh, unlimited supercharging for the life of the car and hopefully get us much much closer to getting a founder series roadster so thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next time